Hi everyone, I hope you're all staying healthy at home. I know it is a very tough time right now. All of us are recommended to stay at home and at the same time, we should be keeping ourselves active. So today, I'm going to share with you a 15-minute low-impact HIIT workout which you can do from the comfort of your own home in a very small space. So no equipment needed, no noise, no sound, and no impact. All right, so it's going to be seven exercises, okay? And we want to repeat the circuit twice. Let's get started. So each workout will be for 45 seconds long with 15 seconds break in between, okay? And the first three exercises will be working mainly on your legs. So let's take it nice and easy. Let's stand shoulder width apart with your toes pointed forward. Let's just warm your legs up a little bit, okay? So the first workout is going to be a squat to a lunge. Right, so stand shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward. As you squat, bring your hands forward, all right? Good. So squat and then take one step back and lunge. Good. Squat nice and easy, alternating between your legs. Good, we're just warming up your legs for the first workout. Keep going. Each time you take a lunge, try to go deeper. So try to get your knees close to the floor. Very good. So chest up, back straight. Good, there you go. Almost there. You should feel your body being warmed up, your hip flexors opening up as well. Last one more, last lunge. Squat, right side. Give me one more on each side. And very good, shake it out. Okay, the next workout, what I want you to do is stand at the forward of your mat, mat as you take a lunge back, reverse lunge. As you come up, twist, and we want to work on your obliques, okay? So, step back, twist, knee to elbow, step back, knee to elbow. So just working on one leg for the first round. Step back and twist. Good, there you go. Twist and reach. If you can't get your knee as high up, that's okay. Just go as high as you can. If you want to challenge yourself, then tap. Good, you should really feel the work on your right leg. Feel the burn on your glutes, feel the burn on your thighs. Good, again, it is also challenging your balance. So look straight ahead. Find one focal point. Keep going, last few more, and rest it out. All right, now let's stand facing forward. Curtsy lunge with a side kick, okay? So stand forward, again, with your left leg, Step back into a curtsy lunge, legs across, and as you come up, tap and raise it to the side, all right? Still working on your right thigh. Up and back, good. So it's a little kick to the side to work on your outer glutes. If this is too challenging, curtsy, tap, up, tap, and curtsy. Good, raise it up, tap, and down. If not, straight up, and straight back. Remember, you want your body to be facing forward. Nice, tap it up and back. Good, nice and gentle. No noise, <laughs> there you go. Low impact, but you should feel the burn on your legs. Very good, okay. Now, let's work a little bit on our upper body, all right? So let's get down onto the mat. The next workout is a push-up with a heel tap. So, get into a nice push-up position. One push-up, tap, opposite side, tap, and back down. One push-up, pike your butt up, tap, and tap. Good. If this is too tough, reach towards your knee, okay? Or if you need to, drop onto your knees. Tap, and tap. Remember, the goal is to pike your butt up, working on the flexibility of your hamstrings as well. Reach, tap, and tap. Good, let's go. Keep going. Give me one last push up. Down, push it up, tap, and tap, and rest it up. Okay, next, 
lateral shoot through. This is going to challenge a little bit of your coordination as well as to work on your core. All right, so starting in a high plank, I want to release one arm and just shoot through and release and just kick through. All right, good. Kick it to the side, kick it to the side. So bring your arm close to your chest. Very good. Kick and kick. Nice and easy. Opposite side, feel the work on your core, maintaining that plank position. Good, flat back. Nice, kick it. Woo! Keep going. Push it, you are almost there. Oh. Nice work guys, keep going. We're almost halfway through our workout. Few more, find your balance and rest it out. All right, the second final workout is a low impact burpee. Again, working on our total body, okay? So start in a high plank position. What I want you to do is take two steps forward, come up and reach and stretch. Back, left leg back, right leg back, again, and stretch. Good, down, really bring both feet as far forward as you can. Good, back and back. Keep going. Let's not slow the pace down. Let's bring the pace up. Forward and up. Down, back, forward and up. Good. Feel your heart rate pumping. Nice. Keep pushing it. Up, down. A few more. Woo. And rest it out. Okay, we can't end the workout without doing a plank. And the final challenge is a in-out plank. All right, so watch me first, okay? Again, start in a high plank position. What I need to do is take a left, right leg out of the mat, bring it in and out, okay? So it's an in and out, good. There you go, making sure that you maintain the high plank position throughout and do not sway your hips too much, okay? Don't do this, this is strong. Keeping a steady position, in and out. And just focus, focus on ending the first set. Very good, in and out, in and out. Push through, strong body, strong core. This is a total body workout. A few more. Stay strong and you will get a one minute break. All right, very, very good job. Take a short one minute break and we want to repeat the entire circuit once more, all right? So, if you want to stretch it out a little bit, push back, get into a downward dog and just breathe. We're not rushing to go anywhere right now. Okay, just breathe in and breathe out. And then slowly get into a high plank, lower yourself down into a cobra push up. Roll your shoulders a little bit, very good. And now push yourself back into a child's pose. And just breathe. Feel the stretch on your back, feel the stretch along your arms as well as your glutes and thighs. Okay, all right. Are we ready? This is your second round, okay? You know all the workouts. I want you to give me your best effort. So the first workout is a squat to a lunge. And this time, I want you to stay low. So squat, lunge, stay low, and lunge. This is going to up the challenge. Good, squat and lunge, good. Stay low, feel the burn on your thighs, your glutes. Ah, oh, nice, slow and easy. You can have a low impact workout, but it's going to be equally as intense. Feel the burn, nice. Squat low, do not come up. You have 10 seconds left. Down and push it back, good. Oh, my thighs are screaming. Good, keep going. Low, one last one. Low and up. All right, guys. 
We have two legs, correct? We worked on our right side just now. This time, we want to work on our left leg. So take a right step back, okay? Ready? Reverse lunge. Up and twist. Good. And twist. Working on your obliques, working on your legs, and working on your core and balance. Up and twist. Good. As high up as you can. Nice. Remember, do not hunch forward. Feel the burn on your left glutes and thighs. Good. Keep going. Ah. Breathe. And just pace your breathing, okay? Last few more. Give me two more. Last one more. And shake it out. All right, curtsy lunge with a side kick. Again, this time, we want to work on our left side. So bring your right leg back, okay? So stand shoulder width apart. Remember, cross your right leg over your left. So curtsy to the side and tap. Bring it up, squeeze the outer part of your right glutes and back up. Nice. For more challenge, find your balance, squeeze. Good, curtsy and squeeze. Nice, there you go. Ah, I can hear like music playing in the background right now. <laughs> and my thighs are on fire. Very good. Let me know in the comments below if you are sweaty, if you're feeling the burn, let me know, okay? And we want to keep staying active from the comfort of our own home. Very good, okay. Let's get down onto the mat. Push up with an ankle tap or a knee tap, okay? Choose your option. Right, high plank, ready, let's go. One push up, tap opposite, cross the opposite side, Push your butt up, cross over, nice, cross, pike it up, and back, down, tap, Woo. very good. Working on your shoulders, your chest muscle with every push up. Remember to go low, you are strong, you are halfway there, okay? Give me as many push ups as you can. Keep going, up, and breathe. Breathe in as you go down, breathe out as you come up, and tap, and tap. One last push up, and up. Good, lateral shoot through, okay. Oh, I am drenched in sweat already. Okay, let's get into all fours. Let's get up, hover, and ready. Let's cross over, kick to the side, and kick it out. Very good, kick and kick. Good, remember to bring your arm close to your body, all right? Nice, keeping your body tight and close together. Kick it, kick. Keep going. Oh. If you can't find yourself coordinating in this pose, well, keep trying, okay? One step at a time. One movement at a time. Release the left, kick the right. Release the right, kick the left. That's it. A few more. Last one more. And, oh, all right. Oh, we have a little bit low impact burpees. Because it's low impact, we want to go as fast as we can. All right, let's go. High plank. Ready? Bring both legs in. Up. Down, out, in, and up, okay? As many as you can in 45 seconds. This is your challenge to yourself and your body. Up, reach, back, and tap. Reach, back down, up, and push it back up. All right, in, squeeze your abs as you come up, okay? Maintain a high position. Keep going, last few more. Whew. Breathe. Out and in, up. Last one more, up. Let's go. Up and stand tall. Okay, 
one final workout. We have to work out with, we have to end the workout with a plank. All right, let's get down. High plank, spread your fingers for a firmer base, okay? Out, out, in, in, good. Out, out, in, in, there you go. Making sure that you're not piking or arching your back, okay? Do not pike or do not dip it, this is wrong. Keeping a firm foundation, flat back. Keep going, one final workout and you are done. Yes, you heard me right. One final 20 seconds. Keep pushing, out, out, in, in. Oh, totally drenched, totally ready to start my day. Totally ready to have an amazing day, even at home. Let's go, last few more. Last one more, and rest it out. All right guys, that was a 50 minute workout. If you enjoy the workout, if you are sweating like me, be sure to leave your comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, share it on, and do check out my YouTube channel as I have a lot more different home workouts from beginner levels to advanced level. I know that this is a tough time, but it is very important for us to stay home, stay safe, and stay active for your own health and also for those around you. So remember to also subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in my next workout. All the best.